Oh, hi, Dumpy. Is, is that for me? I'll take that as a yes. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What if this is fragile? I know what this is. This is the other thing I ordered from Castlemania. <laughs> you want to know what it is? Hmm? Hmm? Well, you're still watching, so I guess you do. So, already show prepped. And by show prepped, I mean I already cut the tape. <laughs> I got excited. What can I say? And I also wonder, how the hell do they get these postage boxes that are the perfect size? Cause... The... Eh. Sorry, I'm building up the suspense too much. Check it out! In case you weren't familiar, this is for the Nintendo 64. When I was a kid and the Nintendo 64 first came out, yeah, the controllers were a little bit weird, but I really didn't have a problem with it. Looking back, I realize now that why people think that it's a retarded spaceship that got drunk and uh, flew into a chemical plant. And as the years went on, gaming evolved and so did the controller layouts. Things were tested and uh, perfected and somebody decided to take that uh, inspiration and uh, modernize the Nintendo 64 controller. And that's where we get this. And I'm 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 really excited to see it because I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, hi. Ooh. Quick start instruction manual. Does it really need instruction manuals? This is just a controller, isn't it? Not so much an instruction manual as a uh, as a fancy thank you letter from the guys that made these. Retro Fighters! Huh. Feels lighter than I expected. Now that's kind of a weird thing to say, but seriously, it it's really light! The buttons feel good. There's a turbo button! Cool. I'll probably never use that. But yeah, look at this thing! They moved the... They got rid of the uh, third leg. <laughs> they moved the analog stick over to the right, where it, where it like if uh, like f uh, how an Xbox has the analog stick right there. D-pad, everything else is in a similar layout to the original N64 controller. And if you're worried about where the Z button ended up, they gave you an extra one. And it still has provisions for the memory cards and rumble packs and all the other accessories that went with it. So maybe we should play some games and really test it out. <laughs> First, let's try out some Star Fox. I know, I know, the in-game performance isn't that great, but cut me some slack. I haven't played this game in a while. But I figured it'd be a good starting point for testing out the feel of this controller. In fact, most of the games I used to have as a kid, I have to track down because I don't have them anymore. What happened to them? It probably would have helped a little bit if I had gone into training mode to relearn the controls rather than jumping right into the game. But what can I say, I got a little excited. Stop moving! My Emperor! I failed you! Now, without question, Ocarina of Time is one of my all-time favorite Nintendo 64 games. I would probably still own the Collector's Edition game box that my cartridge came in if it weren't for my dad just assuming that it was garbage. Can you tell I'm still a little bit bitter about that? As expected, things feel a little more natural with this controller. Hmm, I wonder why.
Cool boys don't look at cutscenes. And then, of course, with a name like Retro Fighters, you know they had Super Smash Brothers in mind when they designed this controller. And once again, trying to relearn the controls, this time I actually did go into training mode. Because, you know, reasons. But it feels a little more natural with this controller. And I feel like it's a bit easier to pick the controls back up if you're not holding something that feels like a practice dummy for milking a space yak. So yeah, so far I really like this. It feels good in your hands. The configuration makes it perfect for people like me who haven't played uh, N64 in a long time and the controller ends up feeling uncomfortable after being exposed to years of playing on Xbox and uh, all the other modern controller types. The only thing is, Gray is the only color. I suppose I could paint the shell, or... But it'd be cool if they offered versions of this in the, uh... other colors. Like, say... Watermelon Red? That's my favorite. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. Show these guys some love, and, uh... Maybe get one of your own. Revitalize your love for the N64 even more than you already love it. Or whatever. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got some games to play. <laughs>